Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a review demo of these Marie gouache paints. And this was requested by one of you guys, so one of you were like, hey, I want to see, you know, a review on these, and I'm here to deliver. So, uh, I bought this with my own money, just a disclaimer, I paid for this myself. This was not sent to me, and this is not being paid or sponsored for by any company. I just want to show you guys these gouache paints. I really enjoy them. Here is what a tube of this looks like. It just says the label name Marie's, it says gouache color, and then it has the color name over here, as well as like a little color swatch as well as up here. Then it has like a little pokey that you have to, oh, if I can open this, you have to prick it to get the paint out. Um, all of these are opened because I have used these multiple times. Um, and then they are just 12 milliliter tubes. You get 18 of them in the pack that I bought. Um, so it's a pretty good starter set. I think you get a bunch of colors and yeah. So um, I don't have the original packaging. I was kind of downsizing a while back when I was organizing my art room a little bit and I threw out the large packaging. So I only have the tubes. I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen of what the original packaging looked like because I know I have it somewhere. So now I've uh, organized these into colors. So. Starting from here, the colors that you get in the pack are lemon yellow, yellow mid, so probably like a middle yellow, uh, yellow ochre, vermilion, crimson red, rose, mauve, ultramarine blue, prussian blue, cerulean blue, lamp black, green pale, sap green, viridian, um, I have that on the Japanese side, uh, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and then you get two variations of white, so you get, I think, Chinese white and titanium white, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just regular white. All it says is white. So, those are the colors you get. And I think it's nice because it comes with different variations of colors. Like, you get three greens, three blues, um, three yellows, a couple of browns, a couple of reds, stuff like that. And you also get two uh, whites, which is handy. Um, so, now let's talk about the gouache itself. Now let's talk about the packaging. So they come in these little tubes like I showed you earlier. They are 12 milliliters and they have a little pokey end. Of course, as you all know, I'm not a big fan of the pokey things, but I suppose if you are trying to keep some paint from getting bad and you don't want to use it right away, keeping it sealed is a good way to do so. I just hate the tedious task of having to poke each and every one of these. Um, I will tell you that some of these, whenever I poked them, I remember them like squirting out everywhere, so just be wary if you buy this that uh, that might happen. If you want to purchase these, I will leave a link down in the description below to where you can go do so. Uh, and yeah. So now I'm going to swatch these for you guys. So I'm going to clean up here, get some water in my bucket, and we will commence with the swatching. Alrighty guys, so here are the swatches all dry, and as you can see, they are matte, so it's when they dry, they're matte. Okay, so I want to go ahead and disclaimer that I'm reviewing these for beginner purposes. I'm not by any means saying these are super high quality or anything. If you want to see a high quality gouache review, I will link you up here in a card to my Holbein gouache review. Uh, those are some seriously high quality gouaches. But these, on the other hand, they're just for beginners to, you know, test the water whether you want gouache or not. Because this set was like $10, I think. Maybe it was 9 I don't remember. Close enough, though. It was really cheap. You get a lot of colors. You get some nice sized tubes. And, yeah. So, anyway, as you can see, the colors are, they're pretty vibrant, but they're not as vibrant as they could be. Um, they're a little muddy. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, if you were to compare like a high quality artist acrylic to this, you could definitely tell that there is a difference. That being said, these are by no way awful. I really enjoy using these. I think they work just fine for what I want to use them for. 
Um, and I am going to get into an illustration and talk to you further about, you know, what I think of these. But just from swatching them out, I think they're really nice. Um, um, that's just my opinion, though. So, alright, so I'm going to go head over to the illustration. We're going to color a piece, and then I'll tell you what I think and all that stuff. So hope to see you over there. Okie dokie, so here I am painting a picture of Hyperlight Drifter Dude, uh, and I was inspired because the game looks super pretty, so let's talk about the product now. Uh, I am, uh, I of course painting with the Marie's gouache, and the thing I love about this is because you get so many different colors in the set, you can mix a bunch of colors, but that doesn't mean, you know, you need every color, but I feel like this gives you enough to feel like you get started. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, the nice thing about these as well is they are light fast, they are not going to fade under the sunlight, uh, even though you should not put pictures in direct sunlight, but anyway. Um, these colors mix really well. I think they mix pretty nicely. They're definitely not as clean as an artist quality brand, but if you're just trying this out to see if you'd like it, then I highly recommend this. I think they're really great for just beginners, or to play around with a new medium that you've never used, or just to play around in general. Uh, I think they're really fun to work with, and I honestly have no complaints. As I said before, I did buy these with my own money, so this is an honest review. It's always honest, but this is especially honest because I paid for it. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the only downside is that if you don't use them for a while, the lids get crusted on, so you have to be careful when taking them off because the tubes twist whenever you twist it too hard, and if you use too much pressure, they'll go poop and then yeah you'll have paint everywhere so be careful of that um but other than that i mean these are fine they mix really nicely you can make a bunch of colors and stuff and yeah i mean i don't really have much else i can say about it so a rating as far as a beginner paint goes i would rate these a 8 out of 10 i think they're really good they're solid beginner paint uh, at least squash wise and I would definitely recommend them now of course if you are more skilled in gouache I would definitely recommend a higher quality brand like Holbein or anything like I think Windsor Newton makes some too but yeah so anyway guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you like the video don't forget to thumbs it up also don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this painting and what you think of the paints uh, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to become updated on when I upload a new video. And until next time guys, toodaloo!